الفاتحة لحضرة النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وبارك وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وهل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وصل اللهم على حبيبنا مولانا محمد سيد الدنيا والدين وآله وأصحابه وابنه الكريم الغوث العظم حي الدين عبد القادر الجيل وحزبه وبارك وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين هو الأول هو الآخر هو الظاهر هو الباطن عز جارك وتبارك اسمك وجل ثناؤك وعظيم سلطانك وأفضل صلوات الله وأنما بركات الله وأتم تسليمات الله على شجرة الأسل النورانية ولمعة القبضة الرحمنية صاهب العلوم الاصطفانية وطور تجليات الروحانية صاهب القبضة الأصلية مطلع أنوار الله ومغزن أسرار الله ومرأة جمال الله ومشهد كمال الله روح جسد الكونين وعين حياة الدارين صاهب قاب قوسين وجوهر الشريف الأبدي ونور القديم السرمدي المحمدي سيدنا وسندنا وشفيعنا وكريمنا رؤوفنا رقيمنا وقرة أعيننا ورسولنا ونبينا ومولانا وملجانا محمد رسول رب العالمين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وأزواجه الطاهرات أمهات المؤمنين وأصحابه المكرمين المعزمين وأولياء أمته الكاملين العارفين وعلماء ملته الراشدين المرشدين رضوان الله تعالى عليهم أجمعين أما بعض وقال الله سبحانه وتعالى في قرآنه العظيم وخطابه القديم ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون ويقول الحبيب صلى الله عليه وسلم أطلب الفضل إن الرحماء من أمتي تعيش في أكنافهم فإن فيهم رحمتي أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تیری نسل پاک میں ہے بچہ بچہ نور کا تیری نسل پاک میں ہے بچہ بچہ نور کا تو ہے عین نور تیرا سب گھرانا نور کا تو ہے عین نور تیرا سب گھرانا نور کا کیسے آقاؤں کا بندہ ہوں رضا کیسے آقاؤں کا بندہ ہوں رضا بول بالا میری سرکاروں کے Respected most honorable علماءِ کرام آئمہ حفاظ elders 
brothers, contemporary youth, mothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It gives me great pleasure and honor to be present here today and the honor was given to me by the ulama from ILS who not requested me to be here but they ate my brains to be here. I have reframed from a great degree in public appearance due to my work. Inone mera dimaag chaat biliya kha biliya. They would have not they would not have been successful if it was not the function of my mashayikh. But since they took the name of my mashayikh, whom I revere greatly, so I was compelled by my reverence to them to be present here tonight. And therefore, I have come here tonight. I thank them to choose an insignificant person like me to talk on such an important subject. And uh, it may be, it may sound very new to you because may a lot of us are not uh, acquainted with the mashaykh of Mahrera or Mutahara, but it is very simple to understand. All sitting here, Sean knows the highest ranking Chishti authority and ambassador of Sarkar Gharib Nawaz Mu'in al Haqqi wa Deen Khaja Gharib Nawaz radiallahu ta'ala in this part of the continent you are all acquainted to our beloved and the beloved of the Muslim Ummah of this portion of the country none other than the Qutb and the cardinal pole of noble saints, Hazrat Sayyidina Sufi Sahib Rahmatullah Ali. You are quite aware of that. There's none sitting here that doesn't know him. And we pay our respects at his doorstep because he brought the message of love, Islam, and the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His dedication and service to this country is as radiant as the midday sun that in a short period of time he created such a renaissance in this country that is very rarely to be seen in the southern tip of the African continent. We salute him, we honor him, we respect him, we love him. And I, for that matter, have that love in my blood because it is Hazrat Sufi Sahib Rahmatullah Ali that brought my grandfather to this country with him in 1896. If you understand that the Chishtiya Silsila, Chishtiya Silsila's biggest representative in this part of the world is Hazrat Sufi Sahib Rahmatullah Ali. Undisputed, well known, honored, and respected. He brought the message of the Silsila of Sayyidina 
خواجہ خاجگان شہنشاہ ہندوستان خواجہ معین الحق و الدین خواجہ حسن سنجری اجمیری رضی اللہ تعالی We don't dispute that. Nobody can dare dispute it. However, if you understand that, because he came from India, and that too, and that portion of India was a village in the province known as Ratnagiri, a village known as Ibrahim Patan. They Before him coming here, nobody knew him. Here in this country, nobody knew him. But when he set foot here, even the plant life, even the pebbles, even all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized him This is not my subject of discussion because I want to try and wrap up as very quickly, if you allow me, about the biggest agency and embassy of the Silsila Iqadiriya in the Indo Pak subcontinent. Like Hazrat Sufi Sahib Rahmatullah Ali is the ambassador and the embassy of the Chishtia order in this part of the world. Likewise, we are going to discuss the biggest embassy and some of the ambassadors that served, who they served, who they represented, was none other than Sultan al-Awliya. Shahanshah Vilayat. بڑے پیر دستگیر حضور غوث العظم سید عبد القادر الجیلانی رضی اللہ تعالی سلطان الاولیاء دس خانقاہ that we are speaking about there is so much of uniqueness in it that firstly they belong to the Zaydi Sayyid family Zaidi Husseini Sayyid family. Zaid Sayyidana Imam Zaid al Shaheed Radi Allah Ta'ala was the son of Imam Zainul Abidin Radi Allah Ta'ala. He was the son of Sayyid al Shahada Sayyidana Imam al Hussein Radi Allah Ta'ala. Through that link, Sayyidana Zainul Abidin, one son was Sayyidana Zaid Shaheed. And the other son was Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. So, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, his son was Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq. And his son, Imam Musa al-Kazim, and his son, Sayyidina Ali al-Rida, and so on. That's the Husseini chain. That's one chain. The other chain comes from Sayyidina Zayd, who was the son of Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. Imam, ja- Imam uh, Zainul Abidin, in fact, the, in this way I'll put it to you, you will understand, grandson of Sayyidina Imam al Hussein. The Zaydi chain coming down at the time of the Mughal dynasty, the Mughal rule. Sultan Shamsuddin Al-Tamash was the ruler at that time. And, and from Wasit, Wasit is a city in Iraq, like Baghdad, Wasit, Mosul. You get all these cities, Basra, Nasriya. Wasit is a very important city where the Zaydi Sadat migrated at the time of Sultan Shamsuddin Al-Tamash Radi Allah Ta'ala Why do I say Radi Allah Ta'ala to this Sultan, to this ruler and king of India, of the Mughal dynasty is because of his link to Qutbul Aqtaf Sayyidina Qutbuddin Bakhtiyar Kaki Radi Allah Ta'ala 
he was murid and khalifa of qutb al aqtab khaja qutb al din bakhtiyar kaki radiyallahu ta'ala in his reign in his time hazrat sayyidi arif billah sayyid muhammad sughra khaja sayyid muhammad sughra radi allah ta'ala an migrated from wasif from iraq their forefathers came from madina munawwara and then they migrated to delhi at the time of sultan shamsuddin al-tamash khaja muhammad sughra al-husaini radi allah ta'ala an then sat in the company and sohbat of qutb al aqtab khaja qutb al din bakhtiyar kaki radi allah ta'ala an and became his murid and received the khilafa he was the khalifa and not only the khalifa two things very important here was bestowed upon him by who qutb al aqtab khaja qutb al din bakhtiyar kaki one was a hand written taweez of hazrat sayyidina khaja gharib nawaz radhiyallahu gharib nawaz ke haath ki likhi hui taweez and a khirqa e murtazawi the khirqa and jubba of hazrat maula e kainat babul wilaya sayyidina ali bin al murtaza karam allah taala wajhul karim jubba this jubba was given then he was sent on a mission to conquer a place known as bilgram bilgram is a city in up now bilgram is near the chishti disciples will know her of khaja hafiz ali khairabadi radiyallahu ta khairabad you must have heard of the name lucknow these are the the cities are nearby there now town known as bilgram it was under hindu rule sultan al tamash sent who khaja sayyid muhammad sughra radiyallahu ta'ala an to conquer the town and the town was very difficult to conquer because it was held by the uh, king who was very ruthless and very evil especially against the muslim and he used the magicians and jadugars that he used to mesmerize the public and sub subjugate them and bring them in his custody and rule upon them by the power of jadu however sayyid muhammad sughra was sent with a bat with a, with an army by sultan shamsuddin al-tamash let me just tell you about who is sultan shamsuddin al-tamash sultan shamsuddin al-tamash was the murid of khaja qutb al-aqtab and he was also a khalifa of khaja qutb al-aqtab radhiyallahu ta'ala unka kya maqam tha badshah tha generally a king very very rarely you find a pious king because he so engrossed and soaked in the dunya and in wealth and pomp that very rarely they do they find time to even worship aajkal ke badshahon ka halat ye hai ki ramzan ke andar sharab peete hain now the rulers of the sacred land harmain sharifain harmain sharifain rulers in ramadan on television they drink whiskey you want to say what i mean you can now gauge what kind of king and kingdoms we are dealing with now but let's go back when khaja qutb al aqtab qutb al din bakhtiyar kaki radiyallahu ta'ala 
the last days of his worldly life, before he departed from this physical dunya, he made a wasiyat. Allah Akbar. Kya maqam tha unka? What was the status of Hazrat Qutb al Aqtab that Khaja Gharib Nawaz chose him as his successor? Wasiyat he made that when my janaza will be ready and the time comes for my salatul janaza, my wasiyat is that person must perform the salatul janaza who never looked up into the sky without wudu. Who never looked up into the sky without wudu and whose takbir ula whose takbir ula when the imam starts the namaz the first takbir is a takbir ula the first takbir in jamaat has not been made qaza you can understand how stringent conditions are put here with jamaat whose takbir ula was not qaza you know what i mean that Takbir ula is not qaza, the jamaat started, you join the jamaat later. No, he must start the jamaat with the imam. When he says Allahu Akbar, then he follows the imam and says Allahu Akbar. Whose takbir, takbir ula was not qaza. And the third condition he said, whose asar salah, who the sunnah of his asar salah is also not qaza. Umuman koi padtai ni, baad log, bhoot saare log padtai bhi ni. Though it is غير muakida, lots of people don't read the sunnah of asar salah. But you know something? One of the secrets of spiritualism and ruhaniyah is in that four rak'ats before asar. The mashayikh, the awliya and salihin and the pious never ever missed that four records before the farz of, of Asad, that sunnah, they don't, they don't miss it. These are the three conditions. Janaza is kept. Everybody is looking at one, one another's face. Ek ka dek raha. And who is there? Giants. Akabirin awliya Allah. On what, on what category? When they stand anywhere in the world, we're standing in India and the takbir al tahrima and they start Allahu Akbar. We imagine and visualize the Kaaba. But when they used to say Allahu Akbar, the Kaaba used to be in front of them. Kabiri. He's not speaking about, he's speaking about giants, maestro, high ranking arifin of Allah. Mashaikh, ulama are present there, but nobody is moving forward to take the musalla of the Imam. Announcements are made, time is going, and then suddenly one person takes a step forward and comes, tears rolling down his eyes, and he says to his murshid, Jate jate aapne mera raas ko fash kar diya. You're leaving this dunya and you're going, but you're exposing my secret and you're going. And who do you think that was? Sultan Shamsuddin al-Tamash rahmatullahi ta'ala. That's Sultan Shamsuddin al-Tamash was that pious wali of Allah who ruled India. Come back. Sultan al-Tamash sent who? A Sayyid, Khaja Sayyid Muhammad Sughra, to conquer a town known as Bilgram. He was from the Zaidi Sadat, right? Sadat Al Husseini, Aulad of Sayyidina Zaid, grandson of Sayyidina Imam Al Husseini. Sent him with an army, he went, he conquered the place, and he diffused all the tricks and, 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 and and all the magic and all the jadu that was 
practiced in that town and he established that Islamic under the Islamic rule and he overpowered them all the king the Sultan he gave him that he gave made him a governor of that area and then he also gifted many other villages around that area for support financial support to run the affairs of that town known as Bilgram. He had two sons. Two sons. One name was Sayyid Salar and one's name was Sayyid Umar. Sayyid Salar, Sayyid Umar. He, Sayyid Muhammad Sughra al Husseini, radiallahu ta'ala an, was a very great wali of Allah. Yani, Hajjah Qutb al-Aqtab, Qutb al-Din Bakhtiyar al-Kaki will give his khilafah to anybody. You think anybody will get his khilafah? Only akabirin, only arifin, that he saw fit, and who he trained in suluk, and became wasil al-Allah, who have reached the destination, who have done the sair ilallah, and sair fillah and sair ma'allah in the maqamat and in the stations of suluk where the, the sair ilallah sair ilallah the journey towards the lord of power the journey in the lord of power and the journey with the lord of power these are maqamat this is a subject on his own. But we, it's already nine o'clock. I was told that I will be given the mic at quarter to eight. My host told me at quarter to eight, I'll give you the mic. And he gave me the mic at half past eight. 45 minutes mera kha gaye. So it's not my fault. Anyway. These are maqamat, until such time you do not qualify. Those years, these years, us zamane ke murshid aur thi, us zamane ki khilafat aur thi, is zamane ke murshid aur hai, is zamane ki khilafat aur hai, wo murid aur thi, aaj kal ke murid aur hai. So, do you understand? There is a world of difference between the suluk of that time and the suluk of this time. Imam Arif Billah Abdul Wahhab Sharani radiallahu ta'ala said that in his time he noticed a, a ray of light focusing from the, from, the, from the sky to the ground and something was written in it. This is I'm speaking about the year around Hijri, 600 Hijri around that time, or maybe 700 Hijri, that in Arabic he said was written there that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already ordained to decrease the barakat of everything on this world. In this world, he ordained to, to decrease Allah ne har cheese ki barakat ko, ko kam karne ka irada farma juka. That is how many? Six, 700, 600 years ago. And we are sitting now. Can you imagine what it was and how much of barakat was that before? Then? So let's come back to the point. That Sayyid Khaja Sayyid Muhammad Sughra, radiallahu ta'ala, and had two sons, Sayyid Salah and Sayyid Umar. Because he was a, a Sufi, he was a great wali and he had the khilafah of Hazrat Qutb al-Aqtab, Qutb al-Din Bakhtiyar al-Kaki, Baba Farid ke peer bhai. He was the peer bhai of Baba Farid Masood Ganj Shakar radiallahu ta'ala. He was also a great warrior, a great conqueror as well. Bade mujahid the. Jihad, he sabili Allah, ar jihad nafs, dono jihad. Unke adar badar jaye atam mojood tha. 
He took the one, he took the Quran, he took the Quran, and he gave it to Sayyid Umar. One second. He took the Quran, he gave it to Sayyid Umar, and he took his sword, and he gave it to Sayyid Salah. Do cheese it, Mujahida, do no cheese it, Sayyid. Quran is our constitution. Is our ultimate book, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ultimate laws of sacred, ordained law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gave one son the Quran, he gave one son the sword. The one who got the sword began, began conquering and spreading Islam in many other places in Hindustan. And the one who got the Quran established a khanqa and he devoted himself to spiritualism and to sawuf whereby he trained the students and trained the people. He perfected the imperfect and led them towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amongst the children of the Sufiya, Sayyid Umar Aulad in Bilgram. All of them were luminaries, but some shone, some brilliance was much brighter than the others. It's all the ordainment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can all be, if a father has five children, five sons, not necessarily everybody is as uh, uh, lucky or progressive as you know, like all of them. One fellow may be a very big businessman, one fellow may be a battler, one fellow may be a very sick person, but they all are children of the same father. Likewise, Allah's distribution of worldly effects and also spiritual knowledge and spiritual excellence is very mysterious very mystical one of the luminaries that shone to the heights of perfection in the firmament of excellence was none other than the qutb of his time the wali al kamil hazrat sayyidana wa maulana mir sayyid abdul wahid al bilgrami radiyallahu ta'ala he was a contemporary of hazrat khaja uh hazrat khaja allahumma salli wa sallim shah jahana shah jahana abadi hazrat khaja kalimullah shah jahana abadi hazrat shah kalimullah shah jahana abadi chisti nizami which is in which with the mashaykh of the silsila of sahib mazar and hazrat sufi sahib rahmatullah right. and his son khaja nizamuddin aurangabadi also in the shajar come forward to that is hazrat arif billah maulana fakhruddin chisti nizami who is the burshid of khaja Noor Muhammad Maharwi radiallahu ta'ala and he is the murshid of Khaja Sulaiman Tawsifi radiallahu ta'ala Khaja Sulaiman Tawsifi is, is the murshid of Hazrat Hafiz Ali Khairabadi radiallahu ta'ala who is the murshid of Hazrat Khaja Habib Ali Shah Chishti Nizami who is the murshid of Hazrat Sufi Sahib Rahmatullah Samajraya giving you the chain Khaja Kalimullah Shah Jahan Abadi is also uh, included in the list of the Mujaddids of Islam. Unku bhi shamil kiya ja raha. Unki isme grami bhi fairest me hai. Ke he was also a, a Mujaddid of his time. Travel to Madina Munawwara. Just giving you an idea who we are discussing. We're not discussing. Uh, we're speaking about luminaries, giants, maestros, 
shining stars in a perfection, in, 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 in a firmament of perfection, arifin of Allah. Hazrat Khaja Kalimullah Shah Jahana Baji radiallahu ta'ala and went to Medina Munawwara. And when he was there in the city, the sacred city of Medina Munawwara, he was in Muraqaba. In the Muraqaba, Ulti Chal Chaltehe Diwan Gane Ishq. Ulti Chal Chaltehe Diwan Gane Ishq. Aankhe Band Kartehe Didar Ki. A wali of Allah doesn't have to open his eyes to see. Because when his eyes are closed, he sees more than those who see with the eyes open. Zimnan ek baat yaad aagayi hai. Ek baat yaad aagayi hai. Aap ki khidmat me pesh karta hoon. Mere peer dastagi. Huzoor Mufti Azam Qutbi Alam Al Ghaus Imam Mustafa Rada Radi Allah Ta'ala. My peer dastagi. 1971 when I went and was blessed, was taken by my murshid for hajj. 33 days we stayed in Medina Munawar. Twice a day the Murshid al-Kamil used to make the Hadri at the Rawza al-Mubarak. Fajr Salah, after Fajr Salah at the Mawaj sharif and after Isha Salah. I used to be standing right next to him and most of the times when he used to stand like that, I had my hand inside locked with him. You understand? Like standing, standing here somebody my hand was going, I was holding his hand, standing in front of the Mawaj Sharif for as long as he read. But for the 33 days that we made that Hadri twice, 66 times, my Murshid al Kamil, the ghost of his time, never ever lifted his eyes and looked at the Jali Mubarak. Never. Never ever did he lift it up because I was standing immediately next to him. Never ever. And if you had to ask my Murshid what is the color of the Jali Mubarak, you know what he would have said? Sunte he ki sunhera. He would have said, I hear people say it is golden, but he did not see. Because why should he see and look at the Jali? When, when he, he was, was looking directly at Sahib Mazar, Sayyidana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he was in communication. Allahu Akbar. So Hazrat Sayyidana Kalimullah Shah Jahan Khaja Kalimullah Shah Jahan Abadi was in Muraqaba. And in his Muraqaba, he was in a majlis of Sayyidina wa Mawlana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam flanked by the Sahaba Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar al-Farooq, Sayyidina Usman al-Nurayn, Mulai Kainat, Ali al murtaza radiallahu ta'ala anhum, sare sare bade bade sahaba hai huzoor ki jhurmut mein baith hai Next to the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a person is sitting. A kabirin sahaba. In between them, next to the Nabi, alayhi salatu wa salam, a person is sitting to whom the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is giving undivided attention. Muskurakar, piyara wa muhabbat se un se guftugu farmaz. Rashk aagaya. Khaja Kalimullah ko rashk aagaya. Ye koni shaks hai, kuch naseeb. Joh huzoor ke bagal mein, huzoor is qadar iltifat farma rahe hai, karam farma rahe hai. Koni hai ye shaks. He could not recognize him. With him sitting was Khaja Sayyid Muhammad Sibhatullah Barochi radiallahu ta'ala. He was sitting with him in that, in that muraqaba. And he asked, Oh Khaja, who is that man? Who is that privileged person that the Nabi alayhi salatu is giving undivided attention? Who is that person? 
حضرت خواجہ سید صبغت اللہ بروچی چشتی نظامی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ سے آپ پہچانتے نہیں ہیں don't you know him say no I don't know him he is Meer Sayyid Abdul Wahid Bilgarami he is Meer Sayyid Abdul Wahid Bilgarami رضی اللہ تعالیٰ and then a book is taken out and presented to Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayka wa sallam by Meer Sayyid Abdul Wahid Bilgarami ایک کتاب پیش کرتے ہیں حضور کی بارگاہ میں ایک کتاب عدد کے ساتھ حضور کی بارگاہ میں پیش کرتے ہیں حضور نے اپنے دست نبوت سے کھلا نگاہ نبوت سے ملازہ فرمائے ریچ ترو ایٹ سمائلز that is giving the indication that he likes it what is written in it And then he makes dua for the author and for the book accepted in this sacred court of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who saw the book, read it, held it in his hand. And what book was that? That book was which was authored by me, Sayyid Abdul Wahid al-Bilgrami radiallahu ta'ala who is Chishti Nizami. There's two things you must understand here. There's two, two silsilas. I will come back to that. Let me not disturb what I'm telling you. Is that he okayed it. He liked it. Acknowledged it. And made dua for both the book and the author. And that book was authored by Mir Sayyid Abdul Wahid al-Bilgrami, the descendant of Mir Sayyid Muhammad Sughra, Chishti, مرید ان خلیفہ آف قطب الاقتاب قطب الدین بختیار کاکی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ پیر بائی آف حضرت بابا فرید مسعود گنج شکر رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ and that name of that book is سبع سنابل شریف سبع سنابل شریف that was okay by the beloved نبی علیہ السلام in the مراقبہ who saw this حضرت خاجہ کلیم اللہ شاہ جہان آبادی رضی اللہ عنہ سو دیس ان ایز مراقبہ ان مدینت المنور کم ڈاؤن the سلسلہ that I'm speaking about is still running in the چشتی مود under the under the umbrella of خاجہ خاجگان خاجہ غریب نواز عین الحق و الدین خاجہ حسن سنجری اجمیری رضی اللہ تعالی چشتی not نظام Chishti, Nizami is one branch. Gharib Nawaz gave his khilafah to Qutb al-Aqtab. Khaja Qutbuddin Bakhtiyar Kaki, he gave the khilafah to Hazrat Baba Farid Masood Ganja Shakar radiallahu an. Up till there is Chishti. Branch off from there. Then he gave his khilafah to Hazrat Khaja خاجگان سلطان سید محمد نظام الدین محبوب الہی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ once you come to سیدنا خاج نظام الدین محبوب الہی در نظامی سلسلہ ساتھ that this خاج سید محمد سغرا was before حضرت خاج نظام الدین محبوب الہی so the سلسلہ is going from there direct now it's not branching off to بابا فرید to خاج نظام الدین this is the the قدیم آبائی سلسل the ancient family direct سلسل which they got from حضرت قطب الاقتاب رضی اللہ تعالی and the second one came via a different chain which is also the نظامی سلسل that is the جدیدہ the new سلسل but the old family direct چشتیہ سلسل You won't find the name Nizami. Samajri Aap Lohi, do you understand what I mean? Meer Sayyid Abdul Wahid al-Bilgirami radiyallahu ta'ala had many sons. The eldest son was Meer Sayyid Abdul Jalil Chishti radiyallahu ta'ala, eldest son. Meer Sayyid Abdul Jalil 
Next son was Mir Sayyid Muhammad Tayyab. Who he was? He was a very close associate and friend of Sheikh Muhaqtik Abdul Haq Muhaddis Dailawi radiallahu ta'ala. The Imam of the fun, the science of Hadith sent from Medina Munawwara by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by an order Abdul Haq go to the Indo-Pak subcontinent and go and promote my Hadith. He came. All the muhaddisin of the Indo-Pak subcontinent, the chain of narration is linked to none other than Hazrat Sayyidina Shaykh Muhaqtik, Shaykh Abdul Haq Muhaddis Dailawi radiallahu ta'ala. Shaykh Muhammad Tayyib was a friend and the biggest Imam of Hadith undisputedly is known in the Indo-Pak subcontinent is Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddis Dailawi radiallahu ta'ala. When some points he could not understand and he needed he needed some sort of explanation on it. Who? The Imam of the Muhaddisin of the Indo-Pak subcontinent. Who he consulted? Mir Sayyid Muhammad Tayyib, the son of Mir Sayyid Abdul Wahid al-Bilgirami. He used to refer it to him because Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddis Delvi was giving the dars of hadith in Shamsi Talab. Shamsi Talab is a place where he lived. Right? He was giving the dars of hadith. And then and a hadith came up where he could not fully understand it. Years ago. So no. He could not fully understand the hadith. Now there are so many dimensions of the hadith. Zahir man, the external meaning, the uh, internal meaning, the mystical meaning. Many other, there are many other faculties and many different facets of one hadith al Mubarak. The students are asking the Ustad Hadrat, Sanjao, he stops. He stops and he says, Wait. Dars kaha ho raha hai? Daily mein. Suniye? Dars kaha ho raha hai? Daily mein. Sayyid Muhammad Tayyib kaha hai? Bilgram. Ye takhriban, mere khayal mein, kam as kam, kam as kam, saare chwe, chaar so kilometer do. At least about 500 kilometers far away. Dars, the, the class is taking place where? In Delhi. Mir Sayyid Muhammad Tayyib, where is he? Bilgram. Yeah, there is a problem in Delhi of his friend. He closes his eyes and wait. Tell the student, wait. There's a kisi ka intazar. Wait. This hadith will be solved at least about 500 kilometers far away. That's the, the class is taking place where? In Delhi. Mir Sayyid Muhammad Tayyib, where is he? Bilgram. Yeah, there is a problem in Delhi of his friend. He closes his eyes and wait. Tell the student, wait. There's a kisi ka Wait. This hadith will be solved. Just now, just wait. After a few moments, yaha dost ne sar jukaya, cell phone chalaya, spiritual, ESP, extra spiritual perception, not sensory perception. Extra spiritual perception. Dial that spiritual. What? Cell phone. And what is the components of that phone? The hadith says, اِتَّقُوا فِرَاسَةِ الْمُؤْمِنِ فَإِنَّهُ يَنْظُرُوا بِنُورِ اللَّهِ This is the whole, the book that if you want to have, you know the actual how this phone mobile is made, the Madani mobile, right? And the handy book is the hadith, and these are the whole, this is the manual of that 
सेल फोन आंख बंद की फोन किया नो फोन लाइक यू होली स्पिरिचुअल थेरेपी कम्युनिकेशन क्लोज हिज आईज उधर सैयद मोहम्मद तैयब की यहां घंटी बजी राइट एंड दे इज अ फैकल्टी ऑफ द ओलिया नोन एज तैउल अर्द यू नो व्हाट इज तैउल अर्द वन स्टेप हियर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन अमेरिका तैउल अर्द घंटी बजी रिसीव द कॉल ओके आई बी देयर नाउ ही सेड आल He's coming. He'll be solved. The next moment, there he's standing at the door of Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddis Delhi in in Delhi, and he say, "Our problem is solved. The Muhaddis is here to sell, to explain to you the meaning of the Hadith." We still not. We didn't come to Maharera Sharif yet. These are only. the personalities the forefathers of the mashayikh of marar muta mir sayyid abdul jalil he was a very very great sufi and a very great wali of allah and the eldest son of mir sayyid abdul wahid al bilgrami radhiyallahu ta'ala the author of sab asnabil ye jazbi kaifiyat re thi and he used to make zarb allah allah zarb loudly in public places and suddenly he disappeared from the house he disappeared one year his sister loved him very much he was the eldest brother his sister loved him very much she started pining for him one year passed Two years passed, three years, four years, five years, twelve years passed. Bara saal guzar gaya, ghayb ho gaya. And suddenly he came in a state of just when he saw his nara, Allah, Allah, Allah. His sister recognized his voice from the house. She recognized the brother's voice, and then they sent the servant to bring him. He was in a state of just. तेरे आजाद बंदों की ना ये दुनिया ना वो दुनिया तेरे आजाद बंदों की ना ये दुनिया ना वो दुनिया यहां मरने की पाबंदी वहां जीने की पाबंदी सुहान अल्लाह दे हैव रिस्ट्रिक्शंस इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड इन द ईयर आफ्टर द रिस्ट्रिक्शन इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज दैट यू हैव टू डाई and the restriction of the year after in akhirah you have to live i hope you understand maybe sound like a jigsaw puzzle to you but try to digest it however go on down 12 saal ke baad zahir hue aawaz unke zarb lagane se unki behan ne unko pehchan li then he disappeared again and for 12 years he was sitting under the tutorship and supervision of sayyidina khidr alayhi salatu wasalam bara saal unki tarbiyat mein jangalat mein rahe and in state of jazb so much so that after his initiation of his after completing his stations of suluk al wasil ila allah and we became an arif he was perfected by sayyidina khidr alayhi salam and then man further perfected yaad rakhna i mentioned this some time back i don't know if you can remember when a wali perfects himself with his riyaza and his worship he's not calm in a sense of the real word kamil is one maqam perfect above that is perfected kamil mukammal ye dar wilayat ke darajat hai these are stations of wilaya perfect then after being perfect 
with your mujahida and riyaza, you end up by the door of Allah in the spiritual domain. This is without resemblance of the door that you see here. That world is something else. That world has a voice that, that has a voice without a word. That, that, that world that, 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 has speech without a syllable. You cannot understand it. It's beyond ordinary man's perception. Sayyidina Junaid Baghdadi se puncha gaya. Sufiyo ki baat ho rahi hai, baat yaad a gayi hai. Mein aapke saamne nazar kar raha hai. Sayyidina Junaid Baghdadi, who is a kutb e madar. You know what is kutb e madar? The most senior kutub. A kutub hota hai, kutb e madar hota hai. All the salasin of the world, somehow or the other, must pass him. What a big deal. He asked him, do you want to see God? Do you want to see Allah? This is a question. If I somebody ask you, what you'll say? You'll jump out of your skins, yes. You'll say that. He said, said yes, yes, but, but not, not with the eye of my head. Allah I don't want the eye to come in between me and Allah. What kind of seeing is that? I think I'm getting too mystical for you. Khair. That is a different domain when you reach the door of Allah. And then when the door by the Qudrat of Allah is opened and Allah casts his glance of mercy upon you and further perfects the perfect and make him from Kamil to Mukammal. Murdunga is a bad hair to Kasahova. Hadish Bia, Hadish says that Mankara, Subhanallah, Uri Satalahu, Nakhlatan Filjana. If you say Subhanallah one time, Allah plants a tree for you in Janda. What can you say? Say Subhanallah. Mazata, it's like a lagraki of Kabrastanki under Metakrit. However, Perfection, that ease was perfected, he was perfect, perfected by Sayyidina Khidr. Bara Salam ki tarbiyat mein rahe. Aur ism-e azam, jo kuch dena tha, unko ata farmaya, jo unke bayaz ke andar likha hua. The khuddameen, the khulafa of Allah are entrusted with those things. And then, he was in a state of jazm. होश रहता है कोई होश नहीं ना कपड़े का होश ना खाने का होश ना सोने का होश ना किसी का भी होश दे मोटो एंड दे मेन पॉइंट ऑफ दे परफेक्शन इज इन दिस सिंबल अल्लाहु वला सिवा that is the emblem of the Arif, Arifin. Allah exists and nothing else exists. That is a state of Fana, going deeper into a state of Fana, Ul Fana, whereby he travels to the Lord of Power, journeys to the Lord of Power, and he journeys in the Lord of Power, and then finally journeys with the Lord of Power. And when he journeys with the Lord of Power, this is why Kisi Wali ka Martaba or Maqam Johe, Adni Samaj Nei Sakta. No, it's very difficult because they are constantly diving in the ocean of Allah's love. And Allah is infinite. It, and since Allah is infinite, His at majestic attributive qualities are also infinite. There is no limitation to Allah. 
nor is there any limitation to the Qudrat of Allah and the sea and ocean of the love of Allah has no boundaries, has no shores. It's just deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Wali jab sair karta hai, muraqaba karta hai, Allah ki ishq ki samandar mein hota lagata hai, wo jitna dubta jata, utna Allah uska martaba badata jata. Sabke salaam, اب سب کی آقا و مولا سیدنا و مولانا محمد الرسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے مقام کے بارے میں اللہ تعالیٰ فرماتا ہے وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى Your present moment Your present moment is better than the past moment What it means? What does it mean? You understand? سبحان اللہ تو کہہ دیے سمجھے یا نہیں سمجھے سمجھے یا نہیں سمجھے do you understand what the meaning of this? It means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is elevating his beloved Habib's maqam and martaba every second ticking away from higher and higher and higher and higher. And therefore Allah says, وَلَا الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى Your present moment is better than the past. And your future moment will be better than the present moment. Your maqam. Therefore, he says, وَرَفَعَنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ اللہ کی سرطا و قدم شان ہے یہ انسان نہیں انسان وہ انسان ہے یہ قرآن تو ایمان بتاتا ہی انہیں ایمان یہ کہتا ہے کہ میری جان ہے رضی اللہ عنہ Come back to the point, say the Mir Abdul 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 Jalil. After 12 years in the state of fana, in the state of in spiritual annihilation in divine love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that he didn't even wear a gar. Itna bhi hoosh nahi tha ki zam jism ke upar kapra hai ya nahi. Us halat e jas ke andar bilkul saaf nahi kar. Where? In the jungles. Wo koi nahi tha. اللہ اور اس کے بندے بس خدر علیہ السلام نے ان کا معاملہ تیہ کرا دیا واصل اللہ اللہ تک پہنچا دیا he went off on his work and he left him there and رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم came in the dream of a person who lived a very rich man and pious man in Maharera Sharif, village. Now we're coming to Maharera Sharif. It's not there that I don't have Maharera Sharif ka lafz ka naam bhi nahi liya. Ab aaya. After one hour, we heard the name Maharera. That's what we are here for. Comes in a dream of a pious rich man in Maharera Sharif. Who comes in a dream? Allah. جس کے ایک جھلک کے لیے ہم ساری زندگی مال و ذر دنیا کے ہر شے ہر کچھ بلکہ جان بھی قربان کر دے کے ایک ہی دیدار نصیب ہو جائے one glance of the glorious brilliant face of the darling of creation سیدنا و مولانا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ اکبر اللہ اللہ تعالی تمام مسلمانوں کو دیدار نصیب فرمائے بار بار دیدار نصیب فرمائے انشاءاللہ تعالی نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کم دنے ڈریم خواب میں تشریف لاتے ہیں اور کہتے ہیں کہ بھائی میرا بیٹا my son my son is in a jungle and he doesn't have any clothes حضور کیا فرما رہے ہیں اس غلام سے کیا فرما رہے ہیں Ummati se kya farma raha hai? That my son is in a jungle with no clothes, stark naked. Tomorrow around this time, give him a time. Allahu Akbar. Huzoor ki firasate nubuwat pe qurban. Farmate hai ke falane wakt, falane jige par, meri aulad, jis ka naam Sayyid Abdul, bhul gaya? عبدالجلیل 
He is coming. Take some clothes and go. Because he is not in a physical conscious state. Just me. مقام فنا میں پہنچ گئے اللہ کے جلووں کا دیدار میں وہ مست ہو گیا گو دے سید عبد الجلیل سن آف سید عبد الواحد البلگرامی خواجہ سید محمد سغرا and he is a descendant of sayyidina zai imam zaid al shaheed who is the grandson of imam al husain radiyallahu ta'ala zaidi husaini sayyid same time foran uski to kya baat hai huzur ka didar ho gaya kya baat hai subhanallah kis ke sadqe pe huzur ki aulad ke sadqe to the aulad of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam holds a very high category Therefore, the great Mujaddid, Arifi Billah, Al-Qutub, Al-Imam, Abu Hamid, Ala Hazrat Imam Ahmad Rida radiyallahu ta'ala says, Teri nasle paak mein hai, Baccha, baccha noor ka. Teri nasle paak mein hai, Baccha, baccha noor ka. Tu ayne noor tera, Sab gharana noor ka. He's referring to that. Mir Sayyid Abdul Jalil at a certain time, certain spot, he appears as foretold by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Immediately goes there and he wraps him up and he brings him. Who is this Mir Abdul Jalil? He is the grandfather. His son was Mir Sayyid Uwais al Husaini radiallahu ta'ala who was the father of sahib al-barakat wad darajat sayyid shah barakatullah the founder of the barakati silsila subhanallah subhanallah ah se tak laya main ek ghanta ho gaya ab to main ye inki zimmedari hai ke un mashaikh maharera ka zikr aapke samne kare kyunki waqt bahut zyada ho gaya and kal aap unko kaam pe jana mujhse kaha ka ماریں گے نہیں سائب البرکات و درجہ یہاں تو سب سائب البرکات لیکن آلہ حضرت فرماتے سائب البرکات و درجہ یا آلہ حضرت کیا بات سائب البرکات و درجہ سلطان العاشقین سید شاہ برکت اللہ الحسینی الحسینی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ He is the grandson of Mir Sayyid Abdul Jalil, great grandson of Mir Sayyid Abdul Wahid Al Bilgirami, the founder of the Barkati Silsila. Up till Sahib Al Barkas, Mir Sayyid Abdul Jalil, Chishti. His father, Chishti. His son, Mir Sayyid Muhammad Uwais Al Husseini, Chishti. But his son. His son, Sayyid Shah Barakatullah, founder of the Barakati Silsila, is the one that brought in the Chishtiya Silsila and amalgamated it with the brought in the Qadriya Silsila and amalgamated it with the Chishtiya Silsila, and his Chishtiya Silsila overpowered him under the under the spiritual command of Sultan Al Awliya Sayyiduna Sheikh Muhyiddin Sayyid Abdul Qadir Al Jilani radiyallahu. Shah Barakatullah was ordered directly by Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Bilgram. He was born in Bilgram. His father lived in Bilgram. His grandfather, only his forefathers, all in Bilgram. Aulad of which son of Mir Sayyid Muhammad Suhra? Kaun sa? Nay, I have bhool gaya. سید عمر کے بیٹے سید عمر وہ دوسرے سید سالار کے بیٹے 
that's a different branch of the family. They lived in Bilgram, that's a town that was given to them as in his governorship, and that's where they lived. وہاں حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم خواب میں نہیں بل مشافہ فیزیکلی فیزیکلی اپیئر ان آرڈر ہیم ہو کیم ویت مغل میں سرکار پیران پیر پیر دستگیر حضور غوث آزم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ دونوں ظاہر ہیں اللہ حضور And he said, Barakatullah, your maqam is not here. Leave this place and go back to Maharal. Your grandfather is buried there. Meer Abdul Jalil ka mazar hui hai. Lekin unke walid, Sayyid Muhammad Uwais ka mazar Maharala mein nahi hai. It's not in Maharala Sharif. His mazar is in Bilgara. But his dada's mazar in Maharala Sharif. Go there. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pointed out. Wahi se. That's why. Wohi se khose paak farmate hai. Nazar to ilah bilah bilah hai. Jam anka khar dala din ala hukmi tisal. Beta ya farma raha hai. Wohi se paak says, I look at the cities of Allah in my palm as if I'm looking at a mustard seed. Cities of Allah. The whole physical domain. The whole world, Jose Park says, I look at it. I look at the cities. Nazartu ila biladillahi jaman. I look at the cities of Allah as if I see a, a mustard seed in the center of my palm. Kon hai? He's the son of Huzur, Sayyidana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jab bete ka ya haal hai. Baap ka kya haal hoga? Imagine, through the sadaqah of his father, he got that maqam. What do you think would be the vision of the of, of, of nubuwa of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? When he said, there's your spot. Now when he said, there's your spot, this is transfer of power. What do you call it? Transfer of power. Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne uhad ke pahad ke taraf ishara farmaya. یہی انگلی ہے جو چاند کے کلیجے کو چیر دیا یہی انگلی ہے حضور کی وہی انگلی ہے بلا تشبیح وہی انگلی ہے نبوت ہے اس نے ڈوبا ہوا سورج کو دو بارہ واپس لائے یہ وہ انگلی ہے پوائنٹین ٹوارڈ جبل اہد مونٹن ڈیڈ ایز ایر رک یہ چھوڑی جیسے ڈیڈ ایز ایر رک points towards the mountain and he says Haza Jabal Uhad Jabalun Min Jibal Jannah this is the mount of Uhad it is the mount from the mountains of Jannah Nuhibbuhu Nuhibbuhu we love it wa yuhibbuna and it loves us aray patar kya love karega What can a stone love? The faculty of love requires a heart. And the heart to, to, to beat and be alive requires a soul. Until this is not in an object or a thing, it is known as dead. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, we love it, it loves us. What happened then? What happened? The point of the finger, the Nabi alayhi salatu salam generated hayat and made that mountain alive and gave it the faculty of feeling and loving Nabi sallallahu alayhi salam. Ishara? Ishara? Agar woh kisi insaan ke tarab ishara kar de, to kya ho jayega? Abu Bakr al-Siddiq ho jata hai. Umar al-Farooq ho jata. Usman al-Zunneer Nurein ho jata. باب الولای علی المرتضی ہو جاتا اور کسی حبشی پر اشارہ فرما دے تو اس کی آزان کی آواز اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی عرش سے بھی فوق سن رہا ہے یہ مقام برکت اللہ مائی سن یو مقام اس دے شوز ہم فرم بلگرام 
Maharera. The point Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa showed him is the exact point where Sahibul Barakat wa Darajat, Sayyid Shah Barakatullah lies resting today is Mazar Sharif. Wahi mukha. Kudur nahi shara pa. Pehle ye chhoda sa talab tha, but he dried up. A small little like a lake, but he dried up. But there where he is lying is the actual spot where Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam pointed down, said this is your mukha. And that's where he started his tabliq of deen and he spread the word of love and wisdom to everybody. This one unique khanqa would do respect to every khanqa, no matter how big is it, no matter, no matter how small is it, linked to a wali of Allah and it is your duty to love and revere it. It's your duty. Because wilaya, aajkal to hum to jisko chahe wali bana diye, aur jiski jiski wilaya chahe chhin liye. Samjhe? Har nangye ko mazub bana diye, har ande ko hafiz bana diye. Yaane kya kya kar diye? Now understand this. Very important. That. When a wali of Allah is appointed to a spot, very rarely you will find in the one Khan Qaf, very rare. Lama Shallah, they may be, they should be. Allah ke bande baut hai. In one Khan Qaf, under one roof, seven kutubs, without any intermission, Sab'a kutub bila fasl, saat kutub bila fasl, us khanqai maharara sharif ke andar mojood. Saat kutub, seven kutub. I will now explain to you how the kutbiyat seven, seven kutub with a chain, without a break. Whether it is father, son, or whether it is it is a father, grandson, but without a break, seven kutubs in succession lie under that roof in Maharara Sharif. I'll just ye waqiya bayan karta hoon ki ye saath kutbo ka waqiya bayan karu ya fajr yazan ho jayegi mere bhai. Isliye main sirf ek kutbe kabir jo sabse pehla kutub Sayyid Shah Barakatullah Sahibul Barakat wa Darajat. Manana Saab has initiated it and inshallah he will uh, continue from where I live. It was the Urs, Saibul Barakat never ever missed the Urs Sharif of Shahanshah Hindustan, Khaja Gharib Nawaz, Mu'inuddin Chishti Yajmeri radiallahu ta'ala. Nor did Allah Hazrat Radiallahu ta'ala miss the Ur Sharif of six Rajab of Sarkar Gharib Nawab. How the Kutbiyat seven, seven Kutub with a chain, without a break, whether it is father, son, or whether it is, it is a father, grandson, but without a break, seven Kutubs in succession lie under that roof in Maharara Sharif. I'll just ye waqiya bayan karta hoon ki ye saath kutbo ka waqiya bayan karu ya fajr yazan ho jayegi mere bhai. Is liye mein sirf ek kutbe kabir jo sab se pehla kutub Sayyid Shah Barakatullah Sahibul Barakat wa Darajat ka zikr ye ek waqiya keh kar mein isko khatam kar deta hoon. Manana Saab has initiated it and inshallah he will continue from where I live. It was the Urs, Saibul Barakat never ever missed the Urs Sharif of Shahanshah Hindustan, Khaja Gharib Nawaz, Mu'inuddin Chishti Yajmeri radiallahu ta'ala. Nor did Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala miss the Urs Sharif of six Rajab of Sarkar Gharib Nawaz. Nor did my Murshid, Huzur Mufti Azam, Qutbi Alam ever in his life miss a Chati Sharif in Ajmer Sharif. I'm Shahid, nine years I was with my Murshid. He can be anywhere in Hindustan, can be the biggest Jalsa, but come Rajab, the 
6th of Rajab, he must be there for the Chati Sharif of Sarkar Gharib Nawaz, Mu'inuddin Chishti, because he wants that thing in Hindustan. He has to be a person of the Vilayat. He has to be a person of the Vilayat. Now, he wants the Vilayat to be a person of the Vilayat. And it was a compulsion of all Aulia, no matter what Sinsila they belong to, to present themselves at the court of Haja Gharib Nawaz, because he is the reigning king of the Indo-Pak subcontinent. خواجہ ہند وہ دربار ہے آلہ تیرا کبھی محروم نہیں مانگنے والا تیرا صاحب البرکات وہ درجات used to be present there and our present and his present was a big difference ہم جا کر تصور کرتے غریب نواز کا چہرہ ولایت کی کیا شان ہوگی کتنا نور ہوگا کیسی شان ہوگی کتنا چمک ہوگا کتنا دمک ہوگا کیا ہوگا کیا نہیں ہوگا یہ لوگ جاتے ہیں آنکھ بند کرتے ہیں غریب نواز نظر آ جاتے ہیں مقبول لوگ تھے مقبول حضرت صوفی صاحب رحمت اللہ علیہ ایلڈس سن یہ جو عارف مرشد آف مائی فادر مرشد آف مائی مدر مرشد آف مائی برادر مرشد آف مائی فیملی حضرت شاہ صاحب شاہ صاحب حضرت پیشنیٹلی نون حضرت صوفی خاجہ ابراہیم صوفی رحمت اللہ تعالی who is like the موازن of خاجہ غریب نواز on the mountain اوپر سے جو بانگ آواز موازن کی جیسا اوپر منارے کے اوپر وہ تارا گر کے اوپر ان کا مزا شریف غریب نواز نے وہاں دیا کہ میرا موازن تو وہاں جا you know something he never entered the مزار of خاجہ غریب نواز he lived there and he passed away there he never entered the مزار you know that آپ کو معلوم ہے کہا کہ حضور آپ اندر نہیں جاتے غریب نواز کی دم بھرتے ہیں غوث کو یا غوث کہتے کہتے بن جاتے ہیں غوث غوث کو یا غوث کہتے کہتے بن جاتے ہیں غوث خاجگی مل جاتی ہے خاجہ کا دم بھرتے ہیں سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ غریب نواز غریب نواز غریب نواز غریب نواز تمہارا وظیفہ ہے دن رات اندر کیوں نہیں جاتے ہیں پھر نے بابا تم لوگ جاؤ میں نہیں جاؤ کیوں نہیں جاؤ گے حضرت آپ تو ہم کو سکھاتے ہیں حاضری دو آپ اندر جاتے نہیں اور میں بھار سے ہماری حاضری ہو جاتی ہے کیوں نہیں جاتے why don't you go he said بابا when they insisted you know when they insisted to him he said دیکھو بھائی گھر سے لے کر یہاں تک from the house سید اعجاز حسین he used to stay at his house from the house till the دربار خان کا شریف I had to look where I put my foot on the ground اپنے پیر کو بچا بچا کر یہاں تک آیا بھائی کیوں بچا کر آیا why did you you know Watch where you put your step. It's a normal road walk. Say, Baba. I looked. I had to be careful where I put my step. So why? He said, because I see the angels in prostration in reverence to Sarkar Gharib Nawaz. Now you want me to stand on the head and go inside? کیا دیکھتے ہیں کیا دیکھتے ہیں الٹی چال چلتے ہیں دیوان کا نیشت آنکھیں بند کرتے ہیں دیدار کے لیے they see something else that which we can't see he never entered only once the narration I got in Ajmer Sharif from the Khadim who looked after him he narrated to me he said once he got jammed up and he had to enter he said but how he walked rubbing his back on the wall and fearfully like this not walking like that rubbing his wall in a corner of the wall and quickly got out from there is andaz se wo bhaar chale gai is we are if ab sayyidana ghaus al-azam sayyidana shaykh muhyuddin supreme leader and commander in the kingdom of allah 
appointed by Allah, supported by Sayyidina Muhammadur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he will rule from now till the appearance of Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Al Mahdi Radiallahu Ta'ala. It's his kingdom, the longest kingdom and period of any wali in this ummah and the supreme commander, Hosea Azam Radiallahu Ta'ala. He distributes. But Ibn Nawaz ko to Hindustan ki sultanat bakshti. Kyu bakshti? Because when Ghawse Paak radhi Allah ta'ala announced my foot is on the neck of the awliya Allah. And at that time Khaja Gharib Nawaz was a young person. He was in a cave in Nihawan towards the boundary of Turkey in a cave making his ibadah. And he heard the announcement of Sohk Sarkari Ghawse Paak from Baghdad into Turkey. No loudspeaker. Allah relayed his song. And he immediately bent. La ala aini wa ala ra'asi. Not only on my shoulder, but on my eyes and on my head. And he bent so low that from Baghdad, Mimbar, Sarkari Ghosi Azam placed his hand and lifted him up because he was falling in a state of prostration. And he said, Ghayasuddin son. The son of Ghayasuddin, Gharib Lua's father's name, Sayyid Ghayasuddin. The son of Ghayasuddin has surpassed everyone on my command because of his adab and respect for him. I give him the kingdom of Hindustan. However, the Urs of Sabir Park was also attended by the Mashaykh of Marar Shaykh, especially Sahib al Barkat, Sayyid Shah Barkatullah. But one year he couldn't go inside the But though he didn't, if he was a problem, he was sick for some reason, then he used to send a representative, somebody to represent him in the Urs. So he sent one of his Durwesh. He sent one of his Durwesh. Now, Durwesh. Durweshi jo hai, ye Cadbury chocolate nahi hai, samjhe? Jo ek rand, do rand mein le lete. Durweshi ka shok bhoot hai. Ye apne haath se apne aap ko zaba karna hai. Jab ye sikhna, ye karna sikhe na, tab ja kar fir, is raaste mein qadam rakho. Don, kutb Madina ki baar baak hai. ان کی دادہ پیر ان کو دیکھ کر واقعی آیا بولوں قطب مدینہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی بارگاہ میں حضرت شاہ جمیل احمد شرق پوری رضی اللہ تعالیٰ you know who's he he's the son of the great عارف حضرت شیر شیر ربانی شیر شیخ شیر محمد شرق پوری رضی اللہ تعالیٰ the great عارف of the Naqshbandiya Silsila. He was known as Shere Rabbi. His son, what Malana Zia, my, my, my colleague and my very beloved friend, Malana Abul Qasim Zia, the Khadim of Hazrat Qutb Madina, they came, they said, Huzur, we want to study Tasawwuf. Huzur, we want to study? Ah, we want to study Tasawwuf. Appoint somebody. Madinah Tayyibah ke kutub te bhai. Sab ko jantay hai. Jitne awliya te wa Madinah Tayyibah mein sab unke maatahat te. All way under his command. So we want to study. Okay. He said, all right. Go to a certain place. Wamerek Shagir. Who was a Shagir? He was a former Qazi of Hama. Sham. Sheikh Ali Nam Taunka. He was his name was Sheikh Ali. I met him. I sat in his company. I took du'as from him. I was taken there by his murshid. We ate together, made du'as, sent him by him. 
and he is the one that performed the janaza namaz of Qutb al-Mudeen. We went there. He sent there. Okay. He said, give us letters because we can't go by him. They, you know, he, he just chased us away. He was a very stately man. He was a Qazi al Qudar, head chief mufti of Hama in Syria. Very big authority. He said, it's all right. I wrote a letter. Yeah. Asked him, uh, knocked at the door. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Could be Medina sent us. And he and gave he a letter. letter. Okay. With the letter. He read the letter. Say, Come and sit down. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Say, so you want to learn? Tasawuf. He said the hadith states. The first lesson. He said the hadith states about Tasbih Fatimi. You heard of Tasbih Fatimi? You know, after Farz Namaz. Allah Akbar, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, 33 times. Sunnah, Tasbih Fatimi, attributed to Sayyidah Fatima the Zuhra, because Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave her this as a gift. Therefore, it's attributed to her for her name. He said, You know Tasbih Fatimi? Yes, yes. So, do you read? Shah Jameel, Mia Jameel. Ahmad Sharpuri, who is the son of a very big kutub. So, kabi kabi parte, kabi kabi parte. Sometimes we read, we do read. So, uto, uto, get out, get out, get out, get out of my house. You can't make amal on the small sunnah. You came here to study tasawwuf by me. Go make amal on this uh, tasbih of Fatimi and then come back. See, tasawwuf is not a joke. He zimnan ye baat yaad aagayi. Aap ko dekh kar mene ka suna do. Ye amanat aap ko de di mene. Huzur Ghosi Azam radiyallahu ta'ala, distributor of wilaya. Ho se paak farmate hai ki wilayat ka har maqam aur mansab aur darja. Every station and status of the station of wilaya be it be qutub be abdal be ghos be nukaba nojaba be he afraad autar all those titles are hanging in my closet in a hanger and i can take it out and give it to whoever i want Hanging in, in a hanger in my closet. So, Saibul Barkar could not go for Sabir Park's Urs. Could not go. He sent one of his representatives, who was a Durwesh. I can't now. I don't want to. It's expanding now. But I don't want to go because it's very late. Does Bajraha. Ye wafia kakar me akadam karnao, don't worry, better. It's a Durwesh went, a Durwesh kisku kate, wo maya nekar saknao. Uskile majid ek ada ganda or chaya ganda chaya. He went, made ziara, coming back. That time, Paydal Jar. Right? He is walking. And wherever he could find a lift or camel or anything, he took it. But most of the time, they used to walk. On his way back, Bayaban, wilderness, jungle, he met a faqir. got a parcel in We call him Mia. He went there. Where are you going? Going home. Where are you stay? Mahrera. Where are you coming from? Sabi Park's Urs. Any what he said? Yehi payam, yehi risala. This is actual word. Yehi payam, yehi risala. Kahiyo barkat mahrera wala. These are the words, actual words. Yahi payam, yahi risala, kahiyo 
barkat maharera wala and he gave him the parcel what is this parcel see take it he said him and he walked away and, and the, the durwesh of saibul barkat walked to the parcel and he's on his way to mara rashid when he reached the khan ka darwaza the door sahib ul barkat adab se wahan khade hue intezar wo jo hua udhar unhone apni vilayat se dekh liya he saw it already hey you know it's it's so you know so surprising when america tells you they got a spy plane that can fly past at supersonic speed over your country and he can tell you exactly what minerals are inside your ground on your earth in your earth what minerals are there sona hai chandi hai petrol hai pani hai kya hai whatever is there whatever is found in the ground flying over at supersonic speed or an avax spy plane can go over your town and pick up your cigarette stump outside and it can tell you what make cigarette is it man ye ho mashallah what an advanced technology this is ve gade that is advanced technology when a wali of allah can see around the world and can recognize everything then it becomes a problem ye kya maam आले दर्जे के मुस्तनद बेवकूफ दैट इज अ सर्टिफाइड इडियट विल डाउट द करामत ऑफ अ वली ऑफ अल्लाह अब अल बरकात स्टैंडिंग मेरा दुर्वेश लेके अमानत लेके आ रहा द मैन डिन से एनीथिंग हुआ आई एम मेरा नाम क्या कुछ नहीं फरमाया गेव इन द पास इट टुक इट एंड केम यू सी नन अदर थिंग बुजुर्गों के सामने ज्यादा सवाल करना नहीं चाहिए ओपन योर माउथ व्हेन यू सिट यू नो इन फैक्ट आला हजरत रजी अल्लाह तआला फरमाते जब मुर्शिद के सामने बैठ जाओ तो एक लफ्ज हत्ता के सांस की आवाज भी नहीं आना चाहिए मसनदी बन ये जो ब्रीदिंग विद फुल अटेंशन सिट दे इट्स अ जस्ट बाय सिटिंग इन द कंपनी ऑफ योर मुर्शिद यू कैन डिराइव द बरकत एंड सो मच ऑफ बरकत दैट विल बी गुड इनफ टू टेक यू टू द डोर स्टेप ऑफ अल्लाह adab you don't control this you get nothing as sayyidina bara ibn azib radhiyallahu ta'ala sahabi rasul farmate hain ke main huzur sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki bargah mein ek sawal karne chahta tha lekin jab bhi main huzur ki bargah mein hazir hota ho jata tha to itni haibat tari ho gayi it went past two years that i could not ask one question two years bara ibn azib radhiyallahu ta'ala Two years passed. I couldn't ask a question, and then I delegated somebody. I get another Sahaba say, "Please ask the Nabi this question for me on my behalf. Then I'll hear the answer. You ask the question, I will hear it." One Sahabi, a Rasul, Huzur ke barga mein hazir hue, jis he was sitting in a posture, Huzur ko is us halat mein dekar behosh ho ke gir gaye. Huzur ki bargah mein thi it was easy however he didn't ask question he gave it first class one table barkat standing greet the durwesh takes it kiss it put in his head he doesn't know what's happening he followed the murshid barefoot table barkat is barefoot standing at the door takes the inside leaves come back ijazat muamma samajh mein nahi aaya kya ho raha hai is i don't know i'm a very simple person i don't understand what is happening here please explain to me he said you brought my amanat say what amanat say this is the amanat sent by bade peer dastagir huzur ho se azam radhi allah ho Who's that that gave me that parcel? He said, "You didn't recognize him." He said, "No, no." He said, "That was Bu Ali Shah Kalangar." 
اب بوہر ہی شاہد کے لندن کا انتقال ساڑھے پانچ سو سال پہلے ہو چکا تھا سی دس ناؤ at least my calculation my calculation cyber barkat's time and bua ali shah kalandar at least plus minus 550 years because bua ali shah kalandar was a contemporary of hazrat e hazrat e qutb ul aqtab qutbuddin bakhtiyar kaki radhiya 500 years ago he passed away wo kaise wahan aa gaye how he came there hai how he come الانبیاء قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الانبياء حديث سنو الانبياء والاولياء لا يموتون بل ينتقلون من دار الفناء الى دار البقاء او كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وصفاك حديث نريد هذا الحديث الانبياء دي بروفيتس اند دي اولياء الله دونت داي جو کہتے ہیں وہ مر گیا وہ اصل میں اس کا ایمان مر گیا وہ بھی مر گیا وہ سب مر گیا الانبیاء والاولیاء انبیاء والاولیاء حدیث النبوی نریٹر بے حضور غوث العظم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ ان اس بک سر الاسرار فی ما یحتاج علیہ الابرار I translated this book in English and it's available from the academy the name, the title of Secrets of Secrets Secret of secrets. By, in this hadith narrated there, that the awliya and the anbiya do not die, but they are transferred from the perishable world to the ever-living world. But they are more alive than we as living people. They are more alive. Okay? Say, Hazrat Bu Ali Shah Kalandar, 450, 550, at least my rough calculation, 550 years. Intakal hoge, wo kaan se aage? How did he get the amana from Ghaz Paak? He was not born when Ghaz Paak passed away. Upar chale jahi ya. You go up, Hazrat Bu Ali Shah Kalandar was not even born when Ghaz Paak passed away. See all this? These are spiritual transactions. And what, what was in that parcel? Ye Ghose Paak ki karamat dekhiya. Two things were in that. There were seven crystal beads from the tasbih of Hudur Ghose Paak. Seven crystal beads from tasbih of Hudur Ghose Paak radiyallahu ta'ala and one amama from the head of Hudur Ghose Paak radiyallahu ta'ala. Amama signifies what? حدیث میں آیا ہے امامہ کو حضور نے تاج فرمایا تاج and also use the term وقار the honor of a believer is an امامہ the moment a مؤمن or the مسلم remove the امامہ he will lose his integrity امامہ سمجھے یہ تو ایسی حدیث یاد آگئی میں آپ کو بیان کر دیا امامہ ہی تھا that عوث پاک is sending the crown to the family because they are now being coronated they are being coronated at kings which kings مقام قطبیت why he sent seven beads because they are going to be seven without any break in between. The problem here is, at one time there were so many awliya Allah in the family, who is the kutub? The kutub won't say I'm kutub. Sir Ghospak kehenge. Ana kutubun wa waliyun. Ghospak, you know, in his qasida shathiyya, he says, I am the kutub, I am the wali, I am the friend of Allah. And I have been given the authority, the rest of the awliya are under my feet. Koi wali ne kaya gai. He will never say it. But what Allah orders them to say, they will say it. Now, because he is the reigning king, Amama, he sends this, sends the taj, he sends the coronation garb of the crown. And he sends seven beads. Now, in one time, there were three, four, five, six awliya Allah. 
in the family. Who's the Qutub? They only used to know who's the Qutub after he passed away. When any senior personality or wali of that family used to pass away, they immediately used to go and open those bees. Seven bees. If any one of the bees cracks, chutak jata. Then they used to realize that the kutub has passed away. If it didn't crack, they know it was not a kutub. Six bees. Sahibul Barakat, Sayyid Shah Barakatullah, Al Husseini radiallahu ta'ala. Crack. Burhan al Muwahideen, Sayyid Ali Muhammad, Al Husseini radiallahu ta'ala, passed away. Beat crack. Second kutub. Third kutub. Asadul Arifin, Sayyid Shah, Hamza, Al Husseini radiallahu ta'ala, passed away. Beat crack. Sultanul Arifin. Sayyid Ali Ahmad, Achemia radiallahu ta'ala, passed away, beat crack. Khatibul Akabir, Sayyid Shah Ali Rasul Ahmadi al Husseini radiallahu ta'ala, Allah has a Burshid, beat crack, fifth one. Sirajul Arifin, Sayyid Shah Abu Hussein Ahmad Nuri radiallahu ta'ala, my dad appeal, Huzur Mufti Azam is Murshad, beat crack. The seventh one they don't know because they never opened it. Come to the south water, Allah knows. The family will know, I don't know. That bead has not been opened. The six are in a mushtaraka. Partnership. Mushtaraka means there's so many uh, key holders to the Tabarukat case. That's in mushtaraka. But this one is going to person, has Aminia. I don't know. It's past, but one of the kutub, but we don't know. They know better. I don't want to comment. Seven kutub bila fasl. Saat kutub bila fasl us khandan ke andar guzre. Mere aziz aur dosto, raat ho jayegi. Main un mashayikh ka zikr adar chhed dun. So whatever little I have explained, do you now understand who this is the biggest agency and the senior ambassadors of the Qadri embassy in the Indo-Pak subcontinent is in Mara Rasharif. Like we have the senior ambassador of the Chishti embassy in this part of the world, Hazrat Sufi Sahib, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala in India, the Qadri Silsara in the Indo-Pak subcontinent is in Mahara Rasharif. Mere Aziz or Dosto, I pray for you that whatever I have said, if there is something wrong, I pray for you, I pray for you, and I pray for you, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, in Mashaikh, all the Holy Allah, in the name of Allah, in the name of Allah, for our sins, 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 اے رب قدیر تیرے حبیب لبیب ہم درد من کے طبیب جناب محمد الرسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے صدقے و تفیل ہمیں راہ راست پہ چلنے کی توفیق عطا فر ہر فرض حد سنت عطا فر ہر فرض حد سنت واجبوں کو اپنے وقتوں پر عدا کرنے کی توفیق عطا فر الہ العالمین جو بے اولاد ہیں انہیں اولاد صالح عطا فر جنہیں تو انہیں اولاد دی ان کے اولاد کو نیک صالح بنا دے پروردگار عالم تمام مسلمانوں کے آپس میں جو نا اتحاد نا اتفاقی اور جو خلیش ہے یا اللہ اس کی دور کر کے تمام مسلمانوں کو ایک کر دے تمام مسلمانوں کو نیک کر دے تمام مسلمانوں کو نیک عمل کی توفیق عطا فرما آپس میں اتحاد اور محبت عطا فرما پروردگار عالم جو اس دنیا سے چلے گے ان کی بھی مغفرت فرما وآخر دعوانا عن الحمدللہ رب العالمين MashaAllah. Brothers, uh, I know you have sat for a long time. Please bear with me just two minutes more before Salaam. Our program has reached its conclusion. Please don't at the last minute now, uh, uh, you know, uh, interfere with the spirituality and the spiritual environment of the function. We thank uh, uh, Sheikh Abu Muhammad Abdul Hadi for his inspiring and very, very detailed and well-researched discourse. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. No amount of time will ever prove to be sufficient. Abi kissai latif na tamam hai jo kuch bayam wa aghaz ebab tha. This is something that you will have to testify to at the end of every discourse of his that whatever you spoke is 
only the introduction. We thank him. We thank, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the ulama who have traveled. Hazrat uh, Allama Mufti Abdul Nabi Hamidi, accompanied by my colleague Maulana Tabrez and his team, Maulana Fateh Ahmad Sahib Misbahi, my Ustad, Maulana Shami Ahmad Sahib, all the way from Lady Smith, Maulana Hazrat Allama Maulana Sayyid Sahib uh, Ziai from Madrasa Nurul Islam and his team, Maulana Bashir Sahib, Maulana Abdul Qadir Sahib, representing, representing uh, the uh, Raza Academy. Maulana Qari, Qari Mir Zaidi, may Allah Subhanahu may Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala bless him. Maulana Shafi Sahib, uh, who has blessed us, Hafiz Sarfraz, the ulama of the ILS, if I am forgetting anybody, my apologies. Thank you all for coming for this program. Remember, the Sajjada Nasheen of Khan Wade Marera will be present in South Africa at 12th, 13th, 14th of September. Our Harun Bai is here, he has confirmed many of the Murideen are always in a 50 50 situation, they don't know if. Hazrat is coming or not. Harun Bai has confirmed he is definitely coming. He is landing half past 10 in the morning, Thursday. That is the 11th of September. Please attend this program. The Islamic Lifestyle Solutions Annual Conference. We hosted the conference last year called Back to the Basics, Traditional Knowledge in the Modern Age, taking place again this year, 9th of November. Diary arise this date, 9th of November at the NMJ Hall. On your way out, remember ILS has its bookstall there. Uh, Purchase your books there, get our latest publications, the history and compilation of the Quran by Sheikh Fahim, the book on the four Imams. I want to thank the, the trustees and the Khadimeen of the Starbar, Imam Babu Sufi, for allowing us. And inshallah, the, we have niyaz that has been prepared, refreshments, and we inshallah request that all of you partake in this niyaz. The ladies, a small in number, they, will, they are seated at the Mazar, they will be served there. The men are requested to proceed to the small hall downstairs, the small men's hall. The ulama are all requested to proceed to the residence of Imam Babu Sufi downstairs for the niyaz. We thank you so much. Lastly, there are many ulama, there are many nath khans, there are many mashayikh who I would love to hand over uh, and give them this opportunity to uh, recite the sal salam and lead us in salam. However, this insignificant khadim of all of their seek their uh, permission and they apologize to them. There is a salami that the first two lines are very famous, but it, maybe it will be the first time for many of the people to know that it was actually composed by Sahibul Barakat wa Darajat. I would like to recite this with Sheikh's ijazah and with the ijazat of the, of, the, of the ulama. Let us all stand. And this, remember, this salami is composed by Sayyid Shah Barakatullah Rahmatullahi Ta'ala <coughs> Ya Nabi Al-Huda, Salamun Alayk Ya Shafi Al-Wara, Salamun Alayk Khatimul Anbiya, Salamun Alayk Sayyidul Asfiya Ishfa'i Ya Habibi Thank 
مقصدی و ملجائی انکا مدعا سلام علیک انکا مدعا سیدی یا حبیبی مولائی سیدی یا حبیبی مولائی لکا روحی فدا سلام علیک لکا روحی فدا هذا قول غلامك إشقي هذا قول غلامك إشقي منه يا مصطفى سلام عليك منه يا مصطفى يا نبي الهدى سلام عليك يا شفيع الورى خاتم الأنبياء سيد الأسفياء صلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا حبيبي يا طبيبي يا مولاي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا رحمة للعالمين الفاتحة اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد المعدن الجود والكرم وآله وبارك وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك سيدي يا رسول الله وسلم عليك سيدي يا حبيبي يا حبيب الله مولا ترى شكر حسان هيتوني آج كي رات اس کا قیمتی وقت ہمیں توفیق عطا فرمائے کہ تیرا اور تیرا